Sport Science. We're testing the most dangerous cheap shot weapons in sports. in North America in which a player has been arrested for assaulting an opponent on the field of play. In 2000, hockey player Marty McSorley took high sticking to the extreme and clubbed Donald Brashear in the face. In baseball, Jose Offerman lost his mind and charged the mound brandishing a bat. Both men were charged with assaults for these unthinkable acts. So the question is, which is the bigger crime? Hitting an opponent in the head with a baseball bat? Or with a hockey stick? We're gonna let science be judge and jury to determine which causes more damage. It is the ultimate cheap shot. First up, the hockey stick. The hockey game. Sometimes intentionally, sometimes unintentionally, guys get hit in the head with the stick. High stick, accidental stick. How can we figure out how much force is generated by just smashing someone in the face with a hockey stick? Well, we've got instrumentation located actually at the center of gravity in the head. We have linear acceleration, so if you come straight in. We also have angular rate sensor, so if you snap the head back. All and right. we couldn't find volunteers, so he's the next best thing. Usually made of composite materials, graphite or laminated wood, hockey sticks average 19 ounces in weight. We put an accelerometer on John's wrist to see how fast that 19 ounces will strike the dummy. So as you swing through, it's going to tell us how fast you're going through a 360 degree motion. I'm going to do this as though this is the worst thing that could happen. If a guy was totally made of evil, this, what we're going to see, is why there are rules in the game. Here we go. Go ahead. With a hockey stick, we generated a value to the head of roughly 80-85 head injury criteria. According to neurologists, a concussion occurs when the head receives a blow with a head injury criteria of 150 or above. That kind of impact will cause the brain to bruise and swell and can lead to loss of consciousness. So with 80-85 for a hit, you might see borderline concussion. Nothing significant. Nothing significant? How can that be? It's all about the transference of energy and the chain of events. Impact, rebound, and push. The blade of the stick actually curves around Crash's face at the first moment of impact. Next, the blade briefly rebounds off the face. When it realigns with the shaft and returns, much of its initial force is gone. Like a crumple zone in a car, much of the initial speed of the attack is gone before the stick makes the most surface area contact with the face. And by this time, the stick seems to push rather than strike Crash's head backward. So will this surprising chain of events Impact, rebound, and push apply to the baseball bat. This Major League bat is 33 ounces. It's nearly twice as heavy as the stick. So is swinging this bat double the crime? Will it cause twice the damage? Is this gonna hurt? It's not gonna tickle. Nice little tingle. All right, we're ready. We're good to go. God, that hurt. God. Oh, man, I smashed him in the face, but he hit right back. Did 
with the added weight of the bat cause double the damage? Is it twice the crime? Something that we saw both on high speed and in the data was that the baseball bat was much more rigid than the hockey stick. The duration of the hockey stick impact was 23 hundredths of a second. The bat, on the other hand, doesn't flex. As a result, its impact lasts one-tenth that interval, two hundredths of a second. With so little time to distribute the force, there is no impact, rebound, and push. Only one heinous slam. The baseball bat was a big difference. We've seen over 2,000 for a head injury criteria. That's twice the limit for our car crash. There you're gonna see definitely skull fracture, potential brain injury, and even possibly fatality. A hockey stick, you'll remember, delivered only a head injury criteria rating of 80. A baseball bat delivers 2,000. In other words, the bat didn't deliver twice as much. It delivered a staggering 25 times more damage than the stick. So our scientific judge and jury has made it clear which is the bigger crime. But if you lose your mind and cross either line, you deserve to do time. Coming up, heading for disaster. Oh man, I got me good. Sports Science Cheap Shots continues in a moment.